In this video, we're going to have a look at the Power Platform certifications for 2025. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Power Platform consists of multiple products, including Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Power Apps, which are Canvas and model-driven Power Apps together with AI Builder. There's also Microsoft Power Automate, and there are two different types, one on a cloud and one on your desktop. Microsoft Power Pages allows you to build websites and Microsoft Copilot Studio, previously known as Power Agents, allows you to create chatbots. Now, being able to demonstrate your ability to use these products can be very important if you are going for a promotion in your company or maybe a new job. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at the Microsoft certifications that are available in 2025 for Power Platform, but we're not going to be looking at Microsoft Power BI as we'll be looking at Power BI and Fabric in another video. So first of all, we need to know what you can do with the Power Platform, and that can be demonstrated if you pass the PL900 exam Power Platform Fundamentals. So this is good if you're just getting into Power Platform or if you don't need to actually use it. For instance, you're a manager and just need to know what it consists of so you can talk to people who do actually program in it and manage their time and workload. So if we scroll down, you can see that there are seven skills which are measured. Describe the business value of Microsoft Power Platform identify the fundamental components of the Power Platform, demonstrate the capabilities of Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power Pages, and also the AI offering experience. Now with all of these certifications, you can scroll down and click on the study guide. So this gives you more detail of what you need to know to pass this exam. So scrolling down, we can see that you need to know the business value of Microsoft Power Platform services, such as Microsoft Power Apps to build applications, Power Automate to automate processes, Power BI for data analysis, Power Pages for web pages, and more. You then need to be able to describe how these services can work with each other, with Microsoft Dynamics 365, and with Microsoft Teams, and also some things about administration and governance. Then you'll be looking at the fundamental components of the Power Platform. So these are things that multiple apps share. So the Microsoft Dataverse and connectors. And then the capabilities of Power BI for analyzing data, Power Apps for creating Canvas and model-driven apps and the differences between the two, Power Automate. So this is Power Automate on the cloud, apart from this last item, which is build a basic desktop floor. Power Pages and Copilot Studio and the AI Builder. So, this is the fundamental level PL900. Now, after that, in previous years, I recommended that you then go for the PL100 App Maker certification. However, that is no longer offered by Microsoft. Instead, they have rolled out a series of Microsoft applied skills, and that could well be your next step after the fundamentals. So there are applied skills in Canvas apps, Power Automate, Model Driven Apps and the Dataverse, and the AI Builder. And coming soon, there will also be a fifth Microsoft applied skill on Create Agents with Microsoft Copilot Studio. Now, each of these assessments will take you a few hours to learn. And again, if we scroll down, we'll see the tasks that you need to perform. And if I scroll down further, a study guide giving you more details about what you need to know. Now, unlike the exam, like the PL900 exam, these Microsoft applied skills don't have a quiz. Instead, they require you to log into a virtual computer and do things. So, for example, you will be creating model-driven apps. You will be creating Canvas apps. You will be creating automated flows. You will be using AI Builder for document processing, text analysis, and forecasts and predictions. Now, unlike the exams, which are proctored, 
In other words, somebody will be watching you using a webcam or you'll be going to a testing center. With Microsoft Applied Skills, instead you'll be doing them on your own computer. No proctoring, you get set a series of tasks and you do them. Now you should note that sometimes these assessments will not be available. In 2024, the Microsoft Power Platform assessments were down for around three months. Now, what you need is a Microsoft login. So you would need to click on sign in and then you can take the assessment by checking this box and clicking start. Now, what's next for you after these Microsoft applied skills? Well, the next Microsoft exam is the PL200, Power Platform Functional Consultant Associate. So this is for you if you can already create Canvas apps, model-driven apps, and so on. So here you can see you should be familiar with all of them. So what is in the PL200? Well, you will need to configure Microsoft Dataverse, you need to create apps, automate, and manage environments. So once you have done the individual Microsoft Applied Skills, then you will need your existing skills in creating Canvas apps and model-driven apps and Power Automate flows, and then a little bit more. So if I click on the study guide, then we can see that the skills that we require include managing the data model, managing Dataverse, configure security settings, create model-driven apps and Canvas apps, build Microsoft Power Pages website, create and manage cloud flows and business process flows, classic Dataverse workflows, and implement low-code logic. For example, Power FX functions and formulas, well, that's part of Canvas apps. Low-code plugin configuration, you won't be required to actually create the low-code plugin just to configure them, and also create and configure business rules. You'll also be participating in application lifecycle management and interoperability with other services. Now, you might be saying to me that you are interested in modifying the Power Platform, creating these low-code plugins. Well, this is when the PL400 is for you, the Power Platform Developer Associate. So you need to have some knowledge of the Microsoft Power Platform including creating some Canvas apps and model-driven apps, but you won't necessarily need a very high level for this. Instead, you'll be extending the user experience, you'll be extending the platform, you'll be developing integrations and creating a technical design using largely JavaScript or TypeScript and C Sharp. The other two Microsoft Power Platform certifications are at a fairly higher level. So we've got the PL500, the Microsoft Automate RPA Developer Associate. So RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation, and this is essentially Power Automate on your desktop. So you'd be required to design and develop automations and then deploy and manage them. So you can see that you'll need experience in the Windows desktop environment, scripting languages like VBScript and JavaScript, and the .NET framework together with Microsoft Dataverse. And then finally, there's the PL600, the Power Platform Solution Architect Expert. So you will need to have fairly good knowledge of the Microsoft Power Platform to be able to design, architect, and implement a solution. Now, if you are interested in these Microsoft certifications, then I hope you'll go to our website, idodata.com. So if we go to Power Platform and Dynamics 365, you can see that we've got courses on the PL900. We've got courses on the Microsoft Applied Skills. We have got two courses on the PL200. So the first one goes in detail about creating Canvas apps and model-driven apps and Power Automate flows. And then the PL200 Part 2 course gives you the additional knowledge that you need for the PL200 exam. We also have a course on the Microsoft Power Platform Developer, PL400. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a like. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. So which exams might you go for in 2025? Why not let me know in the comments? Now, if you're interested in Power BI, then please have a look at our video about 
Power BI and Fabric certifications. There will be a link on the end screen. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. I wish you luck with your Power Platform exams or assessments in 2025. Thank you for watching and keep learning.